Police departments are training investigators in how to track down crime through social media. But how can they keep up with it all? Some contract with experts who can do the online sleuthing for them. This is a Facebook page of uh, a hacker who is selling stolen personal information. Mark Lanterman of Computer Forensic Services says for a little money you can buy a lot of personal information that's advertised on social media. It goes beyond your name and address. Mother's maiden name, driver's license numbers, uh, security questions. Lanterman showed us two Minnesota residents where he was able to find account numbers, height, weight, and eye color, enough information to apply for credit in your name, possibly even fake IDs. So how can law enforcement keep up with it all? I don't know how law enforcement can uh, keep up. I know that they're trying, but there's just so much, it's like drinking from a, from a fire hose. I, you, I, I don't think we can expect law enforcement to have the capabilities and the resources to address all of these crimes. Lanterman is a former cop who now works for more than 30 Minnesota police agencies investigating crimes online. He says the social media sites should do a better job policing themselves. Uh, I think that this is stolen material, it's stolen information, and uh, it should not be posted. In the legislature, there's a move aimed at stopping people from impersonating others online in order to harm them. It's an example of what we're seeing across the country, um, where an uh, ex-boyfriend or ex-husband got angry and um, posted an ad on Craigslist pretending to be the um, ex-girlfriend and the daughter soliciting sex. Deborah Hillstrom, who pushed the bill in the House, says men have been known to show up answering such ads. The proposal failed to pass this time. This is really designed to get at the people who are pretending to be you, posting information about you. For Mark Lanterman, it's a balancing act in the online world. Whenever we have something that's really convenient and really cool, like social media, we're always going to give up a little bit of security. And I think that that's what we're seeing. One local police department we spoke with said all of their investigators are trained to use social media for investigations. They say it's a tool to find stolen property that, cr that criminals sometimes post online. They can also find out who the lawbreakers have been talking to.